Hey everybody, welcome to part three of the Defender conversion. Today we're going to be putting the engine actually in the car and hopefully we should be getting it running today. So let's get on with it. Okay, so a little bit of an update for everybody then. The actual flywheel is back on. We drilled and tapped the holes uh, for the clutch and the clutch and the, the old V8 engine under this cover, that fits just nicely. The holes that you see up here, the holes that were drilled previously in the flywheel, so we're just going to ignore those. We don't need to bother with those. Um, we're going to change all the pipes for the fuel. Uh, we're going to reuse these uh, unions because they're imperial and awkward to get hold of, but they're actually in reasonable condition. Uh, we're currently waiting on uh, eight glow plugs, and we have a look around here. There was a filter that was on the front, uh, not a filter, sorry, a pump that was on the front just here, the one that said we don't know about it. So we still don't know, so we just got rid. So never mind. Um, over on the actual car itself, um, we have test fitted this. This does fit in here quite nicely. Um, but we've also put some trunking around all the wiring loom, all that sort of good stuff, and we've mounted the positions for the fuel and the oil filters. One hour later. So these engine mounts are giving us some trouble at the minute. So what we're going to intend to do is to get that, well, let me rephrase that, to get that into there, what we're going to do is undo that to give us a little bit more wiggle room. And then once that's in, tighten that back up, put the nut on the other end of that through here, and we'll do the same on the other side. In the meantime, we're also having a little bit of trouble trying to get that in there, trying to get the flywheel in the bell housing. We're 99% there and we think once we've got the uh, engine mount sorted, that will just slot into place. So let's give that a try. Right, so what we've seen is that the alternator, uh, as we're trying to push the engine back, is catching on top of the suspension mount. So, alternator's coming off, or it's going to move or something, so we can try and get that engine back as far as we can. So, I think we're on about plan D or E or something like that now. So, we've decided it's not quite going, so we've got a ratchet strap all the way around the engine, all the way around that side, back into the bell housing. And Kane's inside just ratcheting the living daylights out of it now to see if we can get it into position because at the minute we're, uh, we're a bit stumped as to why it's not. So let's see how that goes. So that didn't work. The engine's going to have to come back out because we think we suspect the bronze bushing is at fault. Um, there's a little bronze bush that hold that well it's not holding anything it uh, sits inside the gearbox and the diameter of that is 24 point something like 24.8 24.9 mil something like that so we're going to drill that out to 25 because we think it's that point something mil that's stopping the engine from going into the gearbox and thus going onto the engine mounts so yeah let's take the engine back out again
You just lost the game. Things is not. Yeah. <laughs> All back, did you? It's a little easier. Yes! Is that what it is? You can see on the spine how far it's not. So, just as suspected, it's that bronze bush in there that's causing us the issue. So, we're going to drill that out and should then fit nicely into that. Let's give that a go. That clutch by Tony. You get me a leg around the other side. Take the weight. So, if we have a quick look inside there. Uh, look. You can see all the uh, shavings where it's been catching. So we're going to drill that out and see what happens. clutch is going back on and uh, once that's on we've lubricated the, the the actual input shaft to the gearbox and then we're going to try the gearbox onto the engine again so that should work nicely take two take two Okay, so what we've decided to do now is we've tried fitting the engine mount, fits here, 
or it fits here, not both. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the engine mount hold just here, just that little bit bigger. Much, much, much later. So there we are. That's the engine in. It's the the fat end of what six hours work now, something like that. And uh, the engine is now in. It's not bolted properly, but we have managed to modify the mounts. They do fit a little bit squish, but hey, um, we'll come to that in a second. They're not been uh, bolted down yet, but it's attached to the gearbox. It is resting on both mounts. Just need bolting. Um, these springs, <laughs> they are. Um, what's the word? Under tension, let's say. Uh, so we're going to need some bigger springs. Um, but other than that, it's it's looking good. So that's part three done with. That's the engine in. So it's all connected to the gearbox. It's all on the mounts, all that sort of good stuff. Um, look forward to part four. So if you ring the bell, like, share, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff, you get notified when part four drops. And in part four, we should be plumbing the engine up. So fuel, oil, cooling, all that sort of good stuff. Uh, and then we're gonna start it up, hopefully. <laughs> uh, we don't actually have an exhaust for it yet. So if we do start it, it's gonna be loud. So just be warned if you do watch part four. Um, I hope you have liked that. If you did, like I said earlier, you do the usual stuff. Like, share, comment, subscribe, all that sort of good stuff. And uh, I will see you in the next one.